the Slave Hunters Island, Kunta Kinte Island and related sites. Kunta Kinte Island is situated at the mouth of the Gambia River in Gambia. The island was ruled by successive European countries. The remains of the fortress on the island show that from the 16th century on, various European countries fought to gain control of the slave trade here. Captured slaves were confined on this island until they were sent to the New World by ship. The opposite shore of the island is a former marketplace. This is Dufouré village. It has become a pilgrimage and tourist site for people of African origin. Many people from this village were captured by slave hunters. It is the famous setting of the best-selling novel Roots, which was made into a TV series in America. The writer of the novel is Alex Haley. He traced his family roots back to his enslaved ancestors and wrote a book. Nice meeting you all. Pleasure. And welcome home. Thank, Thank you. you. OK. The main character is Kunte Kinte. In the middle of the 18th century, he was captured by slave hunters at the age of 15 and sent to America. A descendant of Kunta Kinte's family shows us Kunta Kinte's birthplace. The guide tells us they all learnt the story of Kunta Kinte from their grandparents. It was formal oral history until Alex Haley wrote his book. Slaves were given very little food and water. They became so weak they couldn't escape. This made it easy to transport them to Kunta Kinte Island. Some 600 slaves could be held at one time in the facility on Kunta Kinte Island. Slaves were packed into this small room. Kunta Kinte Island is part of the heritage that shows how African people were enslaved and scattered to different parts of the world. <laughs> 